Hey, good everyone, Andrew here, Real 4x4 Adventures, coming to you from Arkaringa Station. Uh, now, Arkaringa Station is a little over halfway between Kubapiti and Nudata, coming from Kubapiti to Nudata, a little over halfway. Um, so, it's a uh, little over 100k drive, I think, depending which way you go. So, there's the way that heads north up the Stewart Highway. Uh, and then comes across to Unidata. The other way you go through in through Cooper PD, uh, out past the turn up to the breakaways towards Unidata, which is a, a shorter road, but I think there's a little bit more dirt road on that. So a little over halfway, you pass the turn up to Arkaringa Station, if that's how it's pronounced, and you drive about 45 k's and you arrive here. So there's only one other camper here today. So we've set up here, hoping to, so we're in the afternoon, there's the sun, we're hoping to maybe avoid a little bit of that afternoon sun. I'm going to have to move that solar panel. So there's a heap of rubbish bins and recycle points around. Um, now they have had some changes and requests at the moment, or well, we're here, that you don't use the smaller fire pit space, but use the main one. So we're going to walk over there. Now, I'm told we haven't been out to the Painted Desert yet, but I'm pretty sure that's it in the background well over there. Um, it's about 10 k's from here, so about a 15 minute drive. It's reasonably corrugated, uh, I'm told, but I haven't been there yet. Driving the 45 k's in from the, the main road there to Unidata, um, there were some corrugations. Um, there were a, little, a few little rough spots, but you just slow down there, so it was, wasn't too bad at all. Um, there's a lot of space here, so... If you're coming out with a bigger group, or if you happen to come through during a busy time, there is plenty of spaces around. Obviously, there's not as many trees, so if you're after trees, they are going to be a little bit of a premium. Now, down here, they've got a, a camp kitchen. Um, now, when you come in, there is the station, the, the homestead there, where, uh, depending on the time that you come in, there is an honesty box, or you can go in there if you've got... Uh, if you need card facilities or need change. Um, while we're here tonight, it's costing $20 per vehicle. Uh, obviously, check closer to turning up if there's been any changes to that. So there's the main big communal fire pit here, which at the moment they're saying that's the one to use. It's a pretty big space. There are flushing toilets and showers. They use bore water, which they say is not drinkable, but fine to brush your teeth and shower in, etc. There is a little camp kitchen here with table chairs, barbecue. There is a book exchange, so for those readers, hold on to your book and then bring it out here and hopefully you can uh, exchange something else. There's a bit of history about Arkaringa Station. Um, there's some information there uh, about how the station works and there's a bit of wildlife talks about what's there, but obviously the big thing is the painted desert from here. There is a scavenger hunt for kids. We've just got those sheets there for, for Jay. Um, it's the barbecue there. Uh, there is a gas bottle that you just need to go and see them at reception for. There are some very basic sort of cabin, well, maybe not cabins there, very basic accommodation. We might see if we can have a look in one. But firstly, we'll have a look at the toilets. There are two sets, unisex, so there's not going to be any big lineups. Each toilet has, or each little bathroom has a toilet, a shower, a basin. Hello. Okay, and then we might have a quick little look here. Just ask the question if we can have a look in one of these cabins and come back. Alright, so I've just asked for permission there. Um, obviously, when you're filming there, it's always important to ask for permission. Um, and they're happy for us to have a look. Some of the rooms aren't totally made up. Uh, there's a combination of um, three bed configurations as well as single rooms. So we'll have a look here, number two. Okay, so you've got an aircon unit. There's a looks to be a queen size bed. Um, and a single bed there, so great for families with one child. And the aircon. Let's have a look in another one here. That one is going to be part of this one. Alright, so that's another one. 
just needs to be made up. This is also a, a little kettle in the rooms. It's a staff only space. Let's have a look over here. That's another three bed one. It's not very good in allowing me to have a look, so again, they're not sort of presented as they would be. Well, they're not all presented as they would be. Um, that's a single one. That's another single one. Over there, they all have windows. It's a double one, but that one hasn't been made up yet. Uh, so, if you're coming out here and you're you're coming through on a big day and don't want to set up camp, there are accommodation options. Uh, they are obviously very basic. You've got the camp kitchen here. You've got the the bathroom facilities. There in the distance here appears to be there's some clotheslines there. Yep, and there's also what appears to be a a little wash up area. Here we go. So you got your little wash basin there as well to do your washing up. And you, as it says there, sunset view wash bay. So as the sun goes down, you can uh, wash up before the sun completely goes. So look, this is Akaringa Station. And we're out here. We were heading from Kubipedi to the Inner Data Track. Um, and we wanted to come and check out the, the Painted Desert and in particular get some sunset shots. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, look, definitely worth staying. 20 bucks a night per car. Um, you're not going to get too many places cheaper than that. Um, and look, the, the, start, or the team here that live here are, are super friendly. And yeah, look, they get, definitely get a tick from us. Parking station. Um, on the road between Kubipedi and Unidata, note there are two different ways to go from Kubipedi to Unidata, so uh, it is the way where you go through town, out past the, the turn off to the breakaways. Uh, and then again, it's said it's a little over halfway, so I think about 60 odd k's out of Kubipedi uh, and about 40 odd k's short of Unidata, and it's then 45 k's in once you turn off to, to go here. So, Akronga Station. Pop it on your list if you're coming through. Um, there are some, definitely already seen some, some cool birds. Um, and yeah, again, the facilities are all very clean and, and quite nice and all positive from us. Parking station. If you've got any comments, if you've traveled through, by all means, pop a comment below. If you've got any questions, pop them down below and I will try to answer them. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. We'd love to have you subscribing. Thanks for watching.